Today's devotion is titled, The Glory of the Lord. Reading is from Isaiah 60, verses 1 through 6. The key Bible verse, And nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. The glory of the Lord is like the rising sun. The earth is engulfed in darkness, but the sun slowly begins to appear over the horizon. Gradually, the darkness disappears and is replaced with light. The countries of the earth are drawn to the brightness of the Lord's rising. The darkness is dispelled, and light bathes the earth. The darkness is sin, death, and Satan. The world is threatened by Satan, infected with sin and terrified of death. The earth can do nothing to free itself from the darkness. Earth waits. It waits for the power of the sun to overcome the darkness. As the world rotates on its axis, the sun comes into view with its warming rays. The darkness becomes light and the cold becomes warmth. The sun is the very son of God. His light shines and Satan flees, defeated. Jesus comes and sin no longer condemns us. The sun rises and death is destroyed. The true light, which gives light to everyone, was in the world. Yet the world did not know him. He came to his own and his own people did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. First John, John 1, verses 9 through 12. Let's pray. Son of righteousness, you came into this world to defeat the powers of darkness with the glory of your light. May this good news and your praises be ever on my lips and in my heart. Amen. We continue our evening devotion with praying Luther's evening prayer. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day, and I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night, for into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. <laughs> 